No, I mean, like, I'm really here for the question of attraction because... <laughs> It never lasts. That's my question. It never lasts. Well, I was just flirting with you and you shouted at me. You forgot my name. I'm not interested suddenly. But why did you use that opportunity to, to get angry with me? No, I'm not angry with you. We I'm letting you we know. Could've, we could have had such a little fun flirt right now. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie, and today we're going to be taking a look at Matthew Hussey once again, humbling a room full of women. And also, this video is brought to you by my Patreon. If you don't know, I have one now, um, and stay tuned to the end of the video because I'll talk a little bit more about it, but make sure you check out that link. Don't leave this video. Check out that link in a new tab or after this video is done. I need the watch time. All right, let's get into it. My name is Tanu, and my question in and around goes uh, for attraction. I do get asked for dates, but I'm never interested in those dates. And the guys whom I'm interested in, they are never interested in me. If Sorry guys, so translation, average guys, um, guys who are not the top eight, nine, 10, uh, uh, ask her out, average men, um, but she wants the chads who are the eight, nine, tens, but they don't want her because, you know, most likely she's average. Nothing wrong with that. That's not a put down, okay? Uh, but that's, that's basically I'm translating for you. If you were to have a guess at it, you seem very intelligent. So if you were to have a guess at it, why do you think that they don't see you as the sexual partner, instead they see you as the friend? Um, if you were to guess. Okay, this is my guess. I don't have a very friendly face. <laughs> have another guess. Um, um, Cause if you didn't have a friendly face, no one would want to be your bro. Exactly, I'm their bro friend, but I'm not no. their girlfriend. But, but why do you think that is? It's not cause you don't have a friendly face. I'm gonna say they're not sexually attracted to her. They maybe are above her in terms of looks. And I know I, it's hard to hear that, but all of us have to accept that. I have to accept there's men as well who will not want me because of my looks, my age, a variety of reasons. We all will be rejected by somebody, even uh, supermodels, the most gorgeous women in the world get broken up with or divorced or, or can't find a man. So it's not a put down. It's just a reality check that if a man is sexually attracted to you, it's either or, okay, they could be sexually attracted to her, but her personality, there's something about it that is not attractive. But generally, even those guys will still, uh, you know, skeet and skirt or, you know, kind of make, they, they may try it out, especially if you look a certain way. But I would say most likely she's punching above her weight. I don't know if Matthew is going to be honest about it or if he's going to, he's going to kind of cap. So let's see. Face. I really don't know Matthew. I'm not sure. It was sort of sexy when you said Matthew. <laughs> I wish you'd do that more often. <laughs> I wonder, I'm, remind, I'm sorry, did you tell me your name? Yeah. What was your name? You forgot. <laughs> and you said I was special, but you gave me the mic. Maybe we should go for a beer and talk about it. Don't you dare call me, bro. I break your head, I promise. <laughs> well, um, well, have you finished, have you finished berating me in, in public? What do you guys think about her response? And, and I'm not trying to be judgmental here. I think she's kind of funny. I actually kind of, I like her response. It was a little cute. But I do see, it does seem as though she may be a little difficult to deal with or entitled. Like, you can't remember my name. Obviously, Matthew, I don't know. I think he's, is he Australian, I believe, or from New Zealand? And she has an accent. Either she's from India or Pakistan, I'm not sure. Um, and she has an accent. And her name is not a traditional name from his, from that he, may understand like a, a king's english name or a name that's easier to 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 get and i think she knows that so maybe she's joking about it because people do it all the time but she seems a little rough around the edges not so feminine in even her responses 
So I can see why guys may put her in a box of, y'all, I just realized I've been filming my fan. Hold on. My audio is probably messed up. Give me one sec. Okay. I'm back. So yeah, she's giving me a little bit of that tomboy kind of vibe. They're like, bro, you don't remember my name? Like a, a little rough. It's not very flirty. She may think it comes off as flirty, but to me, it just comes off as, as rough. Um, I, she seemed like she'd be cool to be a friend, a friend with jokes and all the other stuff, but I'm not, men generally aren't looking for a woman like that. Like you have to look a certain way and plus, you know, exude a lot of femininity in order to, to even operate. But I could be wrong. You guys leave a comment. I'm not a man. So I'm just kind of going with what I see, but you guys would know best. No, I mean, like, I'm really here for the question of attraction because... <laughs> It never lasts. That's my question. It never lasts. Well, I was just flirting with you and you shouted at me. You forgot my name. I'm not interested suddenly. But why did you use that opportunity to, to get angry with me? No, I'm not angry with you. We I'm letting have, you we know. Could have, we could have had such a little fun flirt right now. <laughs> So that's what I said. I said, she's not really flirting, but she thinks it's flirting, but it's a very masculine kind of almost, uh, like she's headbutting. Like she wants, she, it's a, like, she's trying to bring strength to a man where she could have had a different response that was still funny. But it, like I said, it comes off as rough. Even Matthew's pointing out, she could have had a flirty exchange. This could be it. This could be the guys that maybe she's interested in. She's combative. And even now, she won't just be like, you know, you're right. It's like she's trying to, uh, you know, she's sitting in the front row. It seems like she needs a lot of attention. I mean, I'm not, like I said, she doesn't seem like a bad woman, but I'm just, this is the vibe I'm getting. So I think a lot of men would get this same vibe from her. It's a tad forward. <laughs> but let's just stay... Let's stay with you. I still have, I, I still need your name, if you help My name's Tanu. T-A-N-U. Tanu. Okay. That energy you had with me when you were, um, when you were having a bit of a, a go at me, that's actually not bad. I just want you to channel it slightly differently. This is the thing, Tanu. There are millimeters between you getting what you're getting now and you getting everything you want. Millimeters, I promise you. I, pro I know, I promise I know. If you had just said, you don't remember. When, when I said, I, what was your name again? If you said, you don't remember. And I said, no, I'm so sorry. And you said, oh, I'm gonna tell you, but you better make that up to me. <laughs> All right. Now we have tension. Can you see how tiny the difference is between the two? One of them, I feel, I feel shouted at. The other one, I'm like, oh, I'll make it up to you. We'll figure out a way. <laughs> so a tiny difference. So when I say you're millimeters off, I'm not saying that to encourage you. I'm not saying it to flatter you. I'm not saying it to sugarcoat. I think you know by now I don't sugarcoat things. I'm saying it because I, I truly know. The difference between everything you want and where you are now is this. So let's talk about some ways to do it, shall we? Thank you so much for bringing that up. Yeah, guys, so that's what I was saying. I, I picked it up. I had not watched this video, but I noticed it was abrasive. Her comeback is more like how men would come back at each other. It didn't have, and I said it, she didn't have that flirtation. It wasn't this softness. There wasn't a trying to draw a man in. And I've learned nowadays the art of flirting the art of teasing it's just not there it's just either over sexualization or a lot of you know this independent strong uh meeting a man with strength when the best way to meet strength the best way to meet masculinity is with femininity and with softness um and i am learning this skill better and better i'm not an expert at this so <laughs> so this isn't the pot calling a kettle black but i'm just saying i'm learning more and more as i talk to more men as i interact i'm learning men respond to softness in a way that i think a lot of women don't understand because the modern world tells us to be just like a man to just be as hard as a man and to meet men with strength when there is so much 
power and strength in being softer and to, and that art of flirtation, there is a way to flirt and to build that tension. Like he said, without being sexual, without over sexualizing. But nowadays, especially with Instagram and OnlyFans and all these other things, everything is over sexualized. And I, I would love to see us harken back to an era where there, we we really took that art of flirting and, and, and men as well, because a lot of men don't know how to do it as well. I'm not just going to jump on women, but I think just in modern times, modern people, everything ever this hookup culture just there's no room for that everything needs to be microwave everything needs to be fast and so you have to be as sexual as possible as fast as possible there's no slow build there's no chemistry all of that is lost and i think we should bring it back but anyway guys let me know in the comments what you think and also if you can check out my patreon it's uh melanie king official on patreon the link is below i'm getting that geared up and that's where i'm going to do a lot of my um i'm going to be doing weekly lives i'm going to be doing amas ask me anything i'm going to be doing question and answers um i'm also going to be helping people in one of my tiers build channels build their own channel i i personally believe um the greatest way for or an average person to build passive wealth, to build income without taking a second job or building a, a business, you know, from the ground up, which can be very difficult. I think the best way is through YouTube and just about any niche you can do well in YouTube, but there's specific ways you have to do it. As you guys know, I got over 60,000 subscribers last month and I was able to do that um, through a multitude of ways. A lot of people say, oh, because you have a pretty face. I built 5 million subscribers on other channels without even showing my face until like the very end, the last chapter of those channels. So that's not why. And in fact, if you look at most YouTubers, they're ugly. And this is why I enjoy YouTube or they're average. I won't say they're ugly. They're average. And this is why I enjoy YouTube because it's your mind that shines, your opinions, your your talent shines versus on Instagram or one of these other platforms where, you, you know, it's either being silliness or trying to be trendy or it's, you know, having to look a certain way to get people to look at you. But over here, your mind can shine, your hard work can shine um, and outshine people who, you know, who look better than you or, you know, who you may see as superior in physicality. So I like to say that because I've had some people bring that up. Um, it's just not true. But anyway, guys, that's it. Make sure you check out my Patreon, Melanie King Official, and I'll see you in the next one.